Good afternoon, this is Mark Espy with MarketTamer.com, also known as the Robin Hood Trader. And before we begin today, I must remind everybody that everything we speak about is for educational purposes only, never to be construed as a recommendation to buy or sell anything. So as we look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, we're solidly in a uh, channel here. The beginning of the week, we put in a doji. We had a big down day on Tuesday, a couple recovery days, Wednesday and Thursday, and then once again back down to the bottom of the channel, which resides around 11,000 on the top side around 11,250. So as long as the market trades in this range, uh, it's not necessary to get uh, either panicked or too excited either way until it decides where it wants to go. On the downside, we have this little shelf that resides about 10,800, then this swing high at 10,700, this swing low at about 10,200. This is at 98.35 down here from February. Then we had this channel back here in November, December, which was between about 10,250 up to about 10,500. There were a series, you can't see this in a chart right now, but uh, just for perspective and, and context, need to realize that there were some, a series of swing lows on the way up uh, in November at 9,700, which actually should be fairly prominent support. There's a couple of Fibonacci levels re that reside there as well. In um, October 9430, uh, early September 9253, mid August 9117, and then finally uh, the July low, swing low at 8087. If it decides it wants to go to the upside, we will probably be targeting 11,500 to 11,750. Well, we had uh, a little bit of action here on the stochastics, and you can see here there was a crossover, and we were just kind of peaking down last week, just beginning to break down to the 80 level, and that's in fact what we did, and came down out, out of the overbought area, and we resided there for quite some time uh, since, or actually early February, mid-February, all the way through here. So it's quite significant that it broke down through here. We also have a crossover in the MACD and also the histogram is on the south side of the zero line. So uh, once again, what I would uh, say to you is that we're in a channel and it really has not definitively broken down or back up to confirm that it wants to continue this unbelievable bull march that we've had here since early February. So we'll just need to pay attention to it. I would say if you're long right now, uh, don't be a hog on the thing. Go ahead and scale out of some positions. Uh, if you want to hang on to your longs, then maybe you ought to be hedged a little bit. Okay, with that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the SPX.